one of the biggest questions that I have encountered in life is this. If you will be given the chance to live your life all over again, what will you change? Wow! Alam mo sa buhay, unfortunately, walang time machine. Hindi mo na mauulit yung mga bagay na nagawa mo, na sabi mo, napuntahan mo, at nangyari sa buhay mo. However, we can make corrections upang mas maging maayos yung future natin than the past that we are regretting about. And so today, I would like to share with you how to live a life without regret. Number one, live to give. Do not be a taker, but be a giver. There are several studies by Ivy League universities, and we can also check on our experiences that the best life, the happy life, is not a life that takes, but a life that gives. It doesn't mean to say na masama yung tumatanggap ka ng mga bagay. Maganda din at masaya na tumatanggap ka ng mga bagay. Pero mas malalim pala yung fulfillment, yung happiness pagka ikaw ay nagbibigay. Yung buhay na palaging nakikipagitgitan, yung buhay na palaging ipinupush mo yung sarili mo at ipinipilit mo, alam mo, yan na yung buhay na bottomless kasi palagi kang may mga bagay na you wanted in life. Palagi kang may mga bagay na gustong kunin sa buhay. Pero meron kang restfulness, meron kang peace kapag ka ang buhay mo ay buhay na nagbibigay. Do not just live to earn, but live to give. Magbigay lang tayo. Magbigay daan lang tayo sa buhay. Magbigay daan lang tayo sa mga tao. Matuto tayong magparaya. At alam mo, kapag ka ikaw ay nagparaya, yan ang buhay na walang pagsisisi sa huli. Pangalawa na na-discover ko at most likely na-discover nyo na din, failure is the mother of success. Sabi sa Proverbs 24.16, The righteous fall seven times, but he rises again. We know of great people in our planets right now na mga successful in life. But they were never like that before. Yung mga magagaling na mga boxers, yung magagaling na mga scientists at mga researchers, yung mga tinitingala at iniidolo natin na mga business people ngayon na mga very successful ay mga tao na nagfail miserably and several times. But they know and learn to rise up again. Friends, the issue is not on the matter of falling. The issue is on the matter of rising again. So never mind if you fail and if you have fallen. What matters most is that you learn to bounce back, rise again, try again. Because everybody fails. And what matters most ay yung learning curve natin every time we fail. So keep trying. Never mind the failure. Because from failure, we learn and we grow. Lastly, alam mo, importante sa buhay that you do the right thing always. Sabi sa Bible, sa Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 18, Do what is right in the sight of the Lord, that it may go well with you. Sa buhay, matutukso ka na mag-shortcut, magsinungaling, mandaya, umiwas sa kahihiyan, at uh, magpaka-plastic ka na lamang. Pero, importante para balang araw, wala kang regret sa buhay mo kahit anong mangyari, kahit anong sitwasyon, kahit anong pagkakataon. Do the right thing always. And balang araw, wala kang pagsisisihan sa iyong buhay kasi alam mo, ginawa mo yung bagay na tama. Alam ko yung iba sa inyo medyo umaagoy na kasi like me, we have never always lived a life that gives. We have never always bounced back from our failures. Some of us just chose to sit on the fence because we are afraid to try again. We are afraid na masaktan uli tayo. And many of us, myself included, has not done the right thing always. Nandaya tayo, nakaloko tayo, nakasakit tayo ng tao. Nasaktan natin ng Diyos, nasaktan din natin ng ating sarili. Pastor, out na kami dyan. So now we are living a life of regrets. But you know... You know, na napapakinggan mo ang video na to, ang ibig sabihin po ay ka pa. You still have the chance to live to give. You still have the chance to fail and try again. You still have the chance today, tomorrow, and the rest of your life to do the right thing always. So that one day, you will say, I have never lived a life filled with regrets, but I have lived a life full of hope and full of love.
Sana mabuhay kayo ng walang pagsisisi by doing all this. And may the Lord bless you.